Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, the guy that four years ago went all into Bitcoin after selling his house and started traveling the world with his family in a camper van. Now still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. In today's video, of course, bombing you with really, but really, 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 really cool Bitcoin charts. Talking about Circle talking about ETFs, talking about Union Square Ventures, talking about Guggenheim, and yes, of course, talking about the BAM indicator and about the Bitcoin family family token that is now listed on CoinGecko. Check today's video and watch it till the end. Enjoy it, guys. BAM! It will probably be a short video because today again I'm doing two interviews. This week was really busy. Sorry for not creating amazing content on amazing locations. Uh, sometimes it's just too busy and I need to focus as well on the mass media. How do you call it? Yes, the mass media, all the interviews with the magazines and websites, all that stuff. Because that is also promotion for Bitcoin and I need to think in the big picture, in the whole of the community. So yes, also doing that at the same time while well, I create these videos every day. Let's first start with looking at the Bitcoin chart of today because that is really important because everybody is asking themselves now, what is Bitcoin going to do? We touched this bottom of 30k now a couple of times. When are we going to break to the upside or to the downside? Let's take a look at this chart. Bam! On this chart, you can see that we are moving in this bullish flag pattern or should we say bullish falling wedge. Check the flag patterns to the left of the candles. You can see which flag panels there are. In my opinion, it doesn't matter if we are moving into this bullish flag pattern or this falling wedge because all of them are bullish, which would mean that we, if we break out, continue the trend we were having before. And if you look to the trend we were having before, that is that green long line to the upside, that is the flagpole, and this flagpole is going up. And this means that if we break out, we should be breaking out to the upside again with the length of about the flagpole which could bring us all the way to 50,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. So yes, we touched that bottom of 30k now like seven times almost I think and every time this 30k level is support. So why would we break down to the downside if we can see that this 30k level is a huge area of support, everybody is buying that 30k dip. Plus, the charts tell us that in most of the times when we create a bullish flag pattern or a falling wedge, a bullish falling wedge, we are going to break to the upside. That would bring us to higher levels than we were before. So don't freak out, always zoom out, buy this dip. Maybe you will never be able to buy a Bitcoin below 30k anymore. I'm not saying that it is that it is like that. A lot of people think we still could fall back to 24k, 25k, because if we break out of this bullish flag pattern through the bottom, then yes, we could fall the length of this fall to the downside, and that would be around 24,000 US dollar, and that is what people expect. But normally we should move to the upside. But let's see. Let's see how this will evolve. Like I said in yesterday and the video of the day before, this week's ending on Sunday is a very important closing candle. If we look at this month closing candle, the Sunday, we could be forming a gravestone doji. If we close around 29,000 to 29,300 US dollar. If we close above 32, 33, 30,000 US dollar, that is not a gravestone doji, and it means that even on the monthly chart, we are still pretty bullish. So this Sunday, very important moment. That was all the information about the Bitcoin charts. I have an amazing other chart at the end of the video. Believe me, you don't want to miss that chart at the end of the video. The beach is looking amazing again, guys. It's empty, but I like it like this. Look, almost no footsteps. You can see some people walking there in the end.
I will go and walk near the waves so you have the beautiful sound of the waves as well. Like I said, it's going to be a short video today. That was the only Bitcoin chart I wanted to share with you today. Let's jump into the blockchain news part, the part where I talk about the news that I read this morning during my cup of coffee. Bam! The first news I read is that Circle just enabled the US dollar USDC pair, which means they are creating a bridge between the traditional banking system and cryptocurrency. I think the news was overread by many and it's like, ah, that's not that big news. But in my opinion, I think it is a huge news. Because if you are the company that will be creating the bridge between cryptocurrency stablecoins, USDC, and US dollars, then you might create some huge volume into the market. You make it more easy for people to step into this market. You know, to go from their bank to a very safe and stable coin USDC and then exchange it to Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. So yes, it is creating a bridge between the banking system and not only Bitcoin, but also the altcoin. So I think it's a very positive move. Again, I'm not a bank supporter. I'm more the decentralized type. You know this, but still, there is a lot of people in this world that are bank supporters or believing in the banks. So they need this security step to get into crypto. So in my opinion, very positive news. Bam! Then there was another article. There was article was about the ETF. Because we have saying, oh, Bitcoin is going to be an ETF and everything. But we also saw that it was never added yet. And now the spokeswoman, she said, shit, I should have read the article better. But she said now, I don't see Bitcoin becoming an ETF until the market cap of 2 trillion is reached. We are now at a 600 billion dollar market cap for Bitcoin. So we still need to go times like almost four to become listed as an ETF. That is what the spokeswoman is saying. The article, of course, is headed like that. Bitcoin needs to go to a 2 trillion market cap. If you read the article, there is something way more interesting in this article. As they were stated, that is that if all S&P 500 companies would hedge 1% of their assets into Bitcoin to protect their wealth, just like MicroStrategy did, if they just invest 1% of their assets, then the Bitcoin price already would need to increase with 40,000 US dollars. So if all S&P 500 listed companies would invest 1% of their assets, we would already see a price going up with 40,000 US dollars. But why would you do 1% if you can also do 2.5% to 6.5%? And if all these companies would invest 2.5% of their assets into Bitcoin, then the Bitcoin price would already increase with 200,000 US dollars. If they would invest 6% of their assets into Bitcoin, then the Bitcoin price would already increase with 500,000 US dollars. I'm talking about small percentages of these huge companies listed at the S&P 500 that want to protect their capital and their wealth. They could invest a small part, not even a risk to them probably. And then the Bitcoin price would already need to increase with these crazy numbers. And now again, in the first week of February, I think it's the 4th of February, Michael Saylor from MicroStrategy, who already did this step, he exchanged all the reserve assets of his company into Bitcoin because he wanted to protect his wealth, his capital, the company's capital. He is giving away a manual, the playbook, how he did this in the first week of February. He is doing an event with more than 1,000 CEOs. They will all be listening to his story to the results he made as MicroStrategy and to how they could do it as well. And then they get this PDF document probably. They will read it over and over and over again and it will take them one or two or three months to then roll out the same strategy as one of those other S&P 500 listed companies because they just want to protect their wealth and they know what is coming and they can see what is happening in the world so they need to start to think about protecting the wealth. Huge news. Bam! Like now, Union Square Ventures. Union Square Ventures, they have a fund of 250 million. They are not talking about 5% or 2% or 6%. They are investing 30% of that fund into cryptocurrencies. Probably most of it into Bitcoin and Ethereum. 
that's 30 percent if those other companies would do 30 percent you know we would see really crazy numbers but i don't expect them to take that kind of risk at least they still see it as a risk union square ventures doesn't see it as a risk they just say 30 percent goes into bitcoin because we not only want to protect our fund but we also want to make profit with the fund because i think that's the goal of a fund bam on the other hand guys we have then this company guggenheim and they are saying ah the institutional demand is not big enough to keep this bitcoin price above thirty thousand us dollar so this is also the negative news that i'm sharing with you i don't think it's negative news by the way i think that guggenheim is of course saying this they want to buy the dip a little bit cheaper they already bought a shitload of bitcoins but they do realize they need to buy way more on a cheaper price and that is what they want so they will be saying we think the price is going to crash because we think that the amount of institutional investors is not enough to keep the price above 30k so we will probably see a crash and a lot of people will read this and they will get fear and because of fear they get like freaking out and then they sell the bitcoins because they want to take profit around 32k and then the bitcoin crisis crashes because people are selling their bitcoins to like 28k guggenheim boom picks up all these cheap buy orders 28k 27k they buy the dip they buy the dip they buy the dip and then they bam push bitcoin against above above 34,000. and all those people that then sold around 32,000, they are like oh shit, now i need to buy back more expensive that is the games these huge companies the huge governments the huge media plays don't fall for these traps just add bitcoins every day dollar cost average whatever other strategy you want to use if you want to know more about dollar cost average guys please go to the youtube channel digital asset news because rob from digital asset news i think he's a very trustable authentic person that has a lot of knowledge about dollar cost averaging because he has done it himself as an entrepreneur so if you want to know more about that please subscribe as well to digital asset news not that he needs a shout out because he has more than 100,000 subscribers already and I'm only at 18,000 but he's giving me shout outs and we have the same mindset about life and about Bitcoin and that is why we try to support each other in this industry. BAM! Let's jump into the next part guys, the family part, the part where I'll talk about the Bitcoin family and also guys, yes, that part where I will share one more really cool chart with you guys. You want to see this chart. Keep watching please keep watching you must see this chart because there is a surprise in this chart the family part guys the bitcoin family as a whole huge bitcoin family is growing tremendously we are almost nearing 2500 members in discord more than 1000 members on telegram and of course now because we were listed with the family token on coin gecko the community is growing even faster thanks going i want to thanks coin gecko for listing our project thank you so much for uh bombing my whole telegram full with messages of people that want me to do promotions or want me to pay them for promotions and all that stuff guys i got more than 16,000 messages yesterday so please give me some time to catch up with you and i will filter out the really important ones and the really important ones they probably have my mobile number and they can call me but you can understand that i'm not in for paying to get some more media about the bitcoin family because we as the bitcoin family already are covered hugely by the media so if you want to help us to so if you want to become part of this huge bitcoin family and help us to help the poor people all over the world because that is still the goal of the bitcoin family we are going to create a micro economy that gives us some profit because of all kind of projects we will be starting up profits we will be making with these projects all those fees from exchanges from affiliate links all that stuff goes into a fund and this fund we will use to help poor people all over the world so the family token is not about me becoming a millionaire not about one of the family members becoming a millionaire but it's by collectively doing our best to help poor people all over the world and yes the family token value can increase because of this because the family will grow 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 and yes we also have a limited supply of 10 million tokens so if you want to support us as a media channel as a youtube channel or whatever don't send me the sheet with your tariffs of doing a shout out or whatever that stuff if you want to help poor people all over the world then you should help us for free just asking not saying not implying anything just being thankful for all the messages but please be aware 16,000 messages messages my iphone 12 
can't handle this. And yes, I need some time to process all those messages. Bam! Now we are going to the last part. The, this really cool chart, I was promising you already all video, this chart will be really cool because there is a surprise hidden on this chart. It is of course the BAM BAM indicator chart because I traded yesterday, I only did one trade. But I want you to really closely look at this chart because there is a surprise. Check this chart. BAM! Like you can see on the chart, I only did one trade. I know you're not looking at the chart for that trade. I know you're now looking on the chart for the surprise. Keep looking at the chart and maybe you already saw the surprise. But I will talk about it in a minute. Like you can see, I didn't have time yesterday. My days are bombed with busyness because of all the stuff that is happening at the moment to the Bitcoin family. But I did take some risk. I had a $750 trade with a leverage of four. It was a short. It was on the one hour chart. That is why I increased the amount of trading and decreased the leverage. So I traded on the one hour chart. You can see I took the short because of the triple confirmation. Candle closing below the yellow stepping line. Yes, the Bam Bam indicator crossing the white line to the downside. And yes, the Trinity nice. And yes, the hills are changing into the beach and to the sea. Triple confirmation, that, we, that is why we took the short. It was a short of 6.6% with a leverage of four, making it 26.4%. So we only made $180 yesterday, but still it's $180 with just one trade and I couldn't trade more. If you zoom out into this chart, you can see that we could have done more trades, but I didn't. But let's now jump to the surprise on the chart. Comment down below if you already saw what the surprise is. This is really cool. Today is the official announcement of a new product that we will be launching from the 1st of February. This new indicator is called the Bitcoin family TikTok swing trader. Yes, we are very creative with the names. It's not TikTok with a K, like the social media app, but TikTok with a C, like TikTok, TikTok, the swings of the clock. Yeah, old fashioned clock, you know, where you had that thing. TikTok, tick, that clock. Why? Because this is a swing trader, like, or you can call it also a spot trader. It's just an indicator that tells you when to buy Bitcoin, and when to sell Bitcoin. We would advise you guys to only use this for spot trading, not for leverage trading. Only for spot trading because it is built for spot traders. This is the step in between paper trading and the Bam Bam indicator that is spot trading. And this indicator will, will help you with this. There is an educational video about this indicator. I will publish this one as well tomorrow so you can see how this indicator works. I will publish the link in the Discord group, so make sure you're signed up to the Discord group. The link is down below this video. And when you're in this Discord group, you will see the educational video about this Bitcoin family TikTok swing trader tomorrow. I will turn this side, guys, because, again, the light is not good when I walk that way. To be very clear, because that is a surprise of today, from today slash tomorrow, give me some time, because we are really busy. So to all the members that already bought the Bam Bam indicator and that are on the VIP channel of the Discord, you will be getting this TikTok indicator for free. For the other people that didn't buy the Bam Bam indicator, if you guys want the TikTok indicator, then please click the link down below this video and fill the form you will find on that page. It is like the same form we use for the Bam Bam indicator, but this one is for the TikTok indicator. So if you click the link, you just need to fill two or three fields and then you get an email as a confirmation with the things that you need to do to get access to the TikTok. We are going to give the other people access from the 1st of February. So from today slash tomorrow, all the VIP members will have the TikTok for free and they will have access. So they can already share their findings on Discord and the rest of you, you can already sign up to get this TikTok indicator or to receive the information but we will give you access from the 1st of February. And yes, the price of the TikTok indicator will be 0.03 Bitcoin. And you can do an add-on of 0.01 Bitcoin to automate the signals of the TikTok indicator into your Telegram, email, WhatsApp, whatever you want. The VIPs again will be getting the basic TikTok indicator for free from today or tomorrow and the rest can fill the form by clicking the link and then we'll get access from the 1st of February. 
I hope you guys really enjoy what we are all building for you. Also the fees again from this TikTok indicator will flow into this fund. This fund that we are going to use to help people all over the world. Sorry for the dark image, it is the DJI. How, how often do I, how often I am going to complain and do nothing about it? I can't keep walking to the sun because then I'm in the sea, you know, that's also difficult. <laughs> but I hope you really enjoy what we are building for the community and I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. I want to thank you for watching and always want to remind you to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life, try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about thanks for watching today's video again there was a second video i wish you an amazing day and hopefully see you tomorrow again Bam!